The Royal Rumble is one of the greatest gimmick matches ever invented because it showcases one of the most important elements in pro wrestling. Surprise! <laughs> that being said, I'm Kevin Callis from Wrestling Behind the Themes, and here are the 10 loudest Royal Rumble entrance theme pops ever. Number 10. Everyone in the world knew that AJ Styles was on his way to WWE from the moment he was kicked out of the Bullet Club and replaced by Kenny Omega, ending his three-year run in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Regardless, there was just enough mystery surrounding his debut to ensure that his eventual arrival at the 2016 Royal Rumble felt like a huge surprise. And as the buzzer sounded to make way for entrant number three, an unfamiliar Southern rap track began to play as the phrase I am phenomenal slowly unfolded on the Titan Tron and then the roof nearly blew off the Amway Center in Orlando Florida as the phenomenal one stepped onto the WWE stage turns out that the WWE Universe definitely wanted some of AJ Styles because his pop was impossible to ignore Number nine. RVD became one of the WWE's most popular superstars before leaving the E in 2007, claiming to be burnt out, lol, and needing some time away. He would then spend the next three years working the independents and making sporadic unannounced returns like he did the night of the 2009 Royal Rumble, when he emerged as the 25th entry. The whole effing show received the biggest pop of the night when his one-of-a-kind music by the band Breaking Point hit, and he went on to last over 13 minutes before being eliminated by Chris Jericho. The hardcore high flyer had zero signs of ring rust and looked as good as ever. However, it was just a one-off appearance as RVD then disappeared in a puff of smoke. Chris Jericho had been absent after a post-SummerSlam loss to Dolph Ziggler, saw him not only fail to take the show-offs, Money in the Bank briefcase, but also have his WWE contract terminated as per the match stipulation. Basically, this was the ease way of writing him off TV so that Jericho could spend the rest of the year on tour with Fozzie. Eventually, we all knew that Y2J would return, but nobody was quite sure when exactly, which is why his entrance in the 2013 Rumble slaps so hard. <laughs> Ziggler was in the ring, having entered the bout at number one and cut a boastful promo, promising to go all the way to win the Rumble, completely oblivious to what was coming his way. Bruh. When all of a sudden, boom, huge pyro exploded and break the walls down erupted from the PA system, followed by an eardrum busting crowd reaction. The Royal Rumble has played host to dozens of memorable, not so memorable, and downright head scratching returns where fans wonder who the heck is this guy and why is he still wrestling? There was no brotherly love lost at the 2015 Royal Rumble, which is best remembered for Roman Reigns' unpopular victory. What the fuck? But there were no apologies necessary because it was Bubba appearing in the WWE for the first time in almost a decade with a bombastic pop that caused the fanatic Philly fans to explode when they heard that familiar missile whistle of the Dudley's We're Coming Down entrance theme. Hello. Look, we never said that the loudest Royal Rumble pops all had to be cheering, puppy dogs, and ice cream. And that's exactly the case for Muhammad Hassan. Having debuted only a month prior to the 2005 Rumble, Hassan, alongside Davari, were an Arab-American duo upset at the negative stereotypes and prejudice they faced following the September 11th attacks and the subsequent War on Terror. Look, see, leave Don't drop that. From their onset, the tandem were a pair of super heels that created some of the most intense, immediate heat from the WWE Universe because there's no heat like anti-American heat, brother. Brother, brother, brother. Everyone hated them, even the other heels, which is why when Hassan's music started with that loud chant resembling a Muslim call to prayer and he arrived as the unlucky number 13 entry, he was basically booed out of the building. <laughs> Sucker! Sucker! Number five. 
2011 was the WWE's biggest Royal Rumble in history, with 40 superstars taking part and one brilliant surprise entrant. Former World Heavyweight Champion and two-time, two-time, two-time WWE Hall of Famer Booker T made his return after a four-year stint in TNA. Speaking on the now defunct FS1 show WWE Backstage, Booker revealed he was blown away by the reaction he received. When I walked out the curtain, all I remember thinking is that pop. It was like a road warrior pop. Well... Now, if you go back and watch the full Rumble match, you can see Booker's right hand literally shaking because the crowd was so electric for his return. Now, can you dig that, sucker? The 2008 Royal Rumble took place at Madison Square Garden, the mecca of sports entertainment, and the site of some of the most famous moments in WWE history. So of course, there had to be a few throwbacks to the old school 1980s era of pro wrestling. I say thank you very much! While Piper's entrance garnered a raucous ovation from the MSG faithful, unlike how they reacted to his pretentious and pompous presence at the first WrestleMania, for as loud as Piper's pop was, it wasn't the night's loudest, because that deafening pop belongs to... In some respects, John Cena really is a superhero. Yes, John's beaten so many wrestlers and racked up so many title reigns that he's earned the moniker of Super Cena, but we're not talking about that. This is about his legendary healing powers. The man has been hit by several serious injuries throughout his career and not only seems to come back stronger every single time, but way ahead of schedule too. And his video game-like regeneration powers created an unexpected return at the 2008 Royal Rumble, tearing his pe pectoral muscle, such an injury would usually keep a superstar on the shelf anywhere from seven months to a year. But not WWE's franchise player, who was ready to go after just four months. Nobody, I repeat, no body had any expectations of the C-Nation leader showing up at the garden that night, which is why his pop was so epic. Few returns have resonated as strongly as Edge's almighty 2010 comeback, which drew a pop so loud it almost reduced Atlanta's Phillips Arena to rubble. So you see, the setup was perfect. The rated R Superstar! Became a record 12-time tag team champion when he and Chris Jericho captured SmackDown's belts seven months prior. But Edge tore his Achilles tendon a few weeks later, which sidelined him for the foreseeable future. This pissed Jericho off, so Edge was replaced by the Big Show, and Jericho was born. However, Y2J was still peeved, so he savagely ripped into his former friend every chance he got, effectively turning Edge babyface while he was still rehabbing his injury. Fast forward to the 2010 Rumble and the mass hysteria that broke out as soon as Alter Bridge belted through the speakers. Edge went on to win the match, eliminating Jericho in the process and cementing his place in one of the Rumble's greatest moments ever. Might as well just keep the music humming along. Didn't it just break your heart to witness Edge's retirement speech in 2011 due to severe neck issues and only a year or so after the thunderous return ovation he received at the prior Rumble? I mean, stick a fork in him. He was done, finished, no chance of ever wrestling again for fear of paralysis until rumors started in the buildup to the 2020 Rumble that suggested Edge was returning after almost a decade away from the company. Edge responded to these rumors by swiftly and firmly shutting them down publicly. So convincingly so that no one ever expected the Rated R Superstar to make any sort of appearance at this show. However, the mesmerizing moment that Edge's theme hit, the fans lost their shizzent, making it the loudest Rumble reaction we've ever seen. And Edge's face said it all too. So do you agree or disagree with our list? Well, either way, please leave a comment down below and let us know what you think. And also go ahead and give this video a massive of thumbs up because it helps the channel grow and reach new people. And make sure you check out some of our other videos like this one right over here.